Find the crooked man's door. There it is. Just as we knock, it's gonna move. Hell no. Kick it. Let's go. Good evening, Sheriff. I'm here to take you to the boss. Thanks, by the way, for leaving off Tiny. Tiny to him. I have to admit, when they asked me to watch the door, I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal. I know you aren't here on a social call, so thanks for not giving me a hard time. What is this place? Or where is it? I know I'm not in Central Park anymore. I'm... Not sure. I've only ever come in through one of the portals. I don't think you can get in from the actual street. But you can't blame him for wanting to make it hard to find. I'm supposed to bring you right on in, so if you'll come this way. Look, this is the one thing I have to do. Please don't make this hard on me. Yeah, Alright, all right, let's get this over with. Come on. That's all I want, Sheriff. But this doesn't make sense. A cripple guard? Who the fuck does that? Unless he made him a cripple. That would be very intimidating and Thanks scary. for understanding. This is all I'm here to do, and I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> I know I'm probably the last person you'd expect to be a guard, or an escort for that matter. I was a little surprised myself when they asked me to do it. I thought it was a joke, actually. Tim, how can you be working here? You know who this guy is, don't you? He's not... He's not as bad as you think. He doesn't treat me like some broken little kid. I think he gets what it's like. He gave me a job, and I'm lucky to have it. This is the only option I've got. Just keep that in mind, maybe? Because if you and the boss go up against each other, the rest of Fable Town is going to get caught in the middle. And if you're here, it can't be good. So I hope you two can come to an understanding. Don't you realize you're not just minding the door? You work for that crooked bastard, your hands get dirty too. It's not so bad. Not so bad? Are you fucking blind, Tim? He's a murderer. So you're telling me you agree with everything Crane does? A lot of us depend on him. Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office. But he's there. We need you, but we need him too. What we don't need is a war. Hey, Sheriff, hold up. I gotta go in with you. Can't you just wait up, Sheriff? Hold on. Oh, God. Come on. Thanks. Move with that stumpy little leg. Some kind of fucking joke to you. What did I tell you? Stop laughing at me. Oh, yeah? Mate, I ain't scared. Tell me who the fuck is back there. I got a problem. I I don't exactly know. I, I just down. mind the door. I like cream before the boss him. is there. I'm sure he will prove like himself that quite handy to have in my pocket. Either he's smart enough to see this is for the best, or dim enough to do as he's told. I say he'd be more useful killed, skinned, and made into a rug for me to wipe his shoes on. Bloody hell! This fucking guy! Wait, that guy too? The one on the right? There he is. Is that the crooked man? I was man? wondering when you turn oh. up. I'm sorry, sir. He, he wouldn't let it's me. It's alright, Tim. I shouldn't have expected the sheriff to give you respect enough to do your job. But you did fine. You can go now. Feels like an AA meeting. You see, everyone in Fable Town has a role to fill. You just have to pay attention to what they need to help them find it.
Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. That's the big B way. I've heard stories about you. In the old days, how you picked off those men one by one. Oh, how they screamed. The wolf is coming. Coming to get you. And they would wait. Hiding anywhere they could squeeze their pathetic, shivering corpses. Some would just drop to their knees where they stood, close their eyes, and wait for death. And you'd give it to them. <laughs> I wish I could have seen it. <sighs> oh well. <gasps> Holy fuck. Well, that's the end of episode 4. Let's look at the player choices real quickly. Me and 91, 39.1% uh, of the players decided not that Colin should not go to the farm. Why not? Colin was awesome, man. I mean, he was sticking up for me. I found it pretty funny the way he was very defensive of me and the way that Big B does things. I mean, it sounds like they kind of have the, that he knows him very well, whereas Snow is kind of trying to change him, which is not necessarily bad or anything, but. I feel like something inside Bigby always makes him be this man who just doesn't really care about the rules and all that and only does it his way. Oh well. Um, I like Colin though. Perhaps people just find him not that funny or don't like him in general. Did you attempt to remove Nerissa's ribbon? You and 38.5% uh, of players tried to remove the ribbon. I mean... Maybe she was gonna point it out eventually, but I just, I felt like it had something to do with it. And you saw from her reaction when you even tried to get close to it, she freaked out so badly. So that kind of already shows you the power that that thing, it's just a mere ribbon, how that is controlling her and how, yeah, how, how what kind of effect it has on her. Um, you and 50% of players went to the cut above. It's very 50-50 in that regard. Uh, send Toad to the farm. You and 47.2% decided Toad should not go to the farm. I mean, I can't, I like Toad as well. I like both Toad and Colin. No one should go to the farm. How did you respond to the crooked man? You and 24.6% of players lit a cigarette. I just thought like... When you came into that situation, it's like where you, where you see all these people gathered around him. Who was him? The the owner from the Pudding and Pie, um, one of the Dumb and D brothers, the one I didn't kill because I thought it was complicated having two of them around. So to make it easier, I would kill one. Well, that's my justification for it. Kill one, and then I know there's only one left, so I don't get confused between them. But Apparently I still don't know his the correct name of the person that is alive, so it actually didn't matter. But I guess there's one of the twins not to worry about. And who else? Was Lily there? Or did the sister of the the one of the hookers that died? I don't remember. But the the guy Jersey was there and perhaps someone else. I don't know, it just felt like an ambush almost. Although I mean they were expecting me. I just felt like lighting up a cigarette was like a proper reaction to that, a proper Big B reaction to that situation. Like he wants to talk to me, and no way you you which is when you say, tell him like you know fuck that you're coming with me. I don't think a man with that power and and an eye like that would just say like, oh we're going with you. All right, let's go then. Let me pack my bag real quickly. No, so I'll just be like, Psh, light the light the cigarette and then. Alright, let, let him tell his tale or whatever the, the hell he wants to, but... 
it's almost coming to a close but apparently the crooked man just has everyone or is controlling the entire T of Fable Town and yeah I mean it's like Bigby said earlier it 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 goes on so deep that it's kind of unexpectable that it's it's something that's going on behind the scenes whereas an uh, a, a cop or a investigator or whatever Bigby is that something like that has been going on with it without him even sensing the tiniest thing that something like that could have been going on so yeah very intriguing and it's definitely getting very very tense I can't wait for the last episode which would probably be out in a month though maybe a bit longer but damn it's getting exciting I love it ah <sighs> It just always feels such a shame when it's over. It feels so quickly. But yeah, episode 5 is going to come out. And I'll definitely be playing that. Um, like I probably mentioned at the very beginning. I'm personally hoping for a season 2. But I don't know where to... I mean, Telltale is going to do a lot of games. I mean, uh, The Walking Dead season 2 is kind of... It's at half point. Well, over half point with se season 3 out of 5. But... It's getting nearing its end as well. This is nearing its end, The Wolf Among Us. And then I believe, I'm not sure whether it comes out this year or next year, but um, they're doing a game on, on Borderlands and Game of Thrones as well. So they might be very busy. I don't know whether they are actually planning a season two for this, but it would be very awesome. But it also has to make sense. You know, you can't force it. It has to kind of fit the story as well so it all kind of depends for me on, on how episode 5 turns out and how they're planning to end at least in season in episode 5 so but yeah that's all just speculation and and all that so can't say too much about that until that moment's actually there so I'm gonna end the video right here I want to thank you all so so very much for watching this is such a pleasure to play and it's actually pretty awesome that even one person would find this entertaining to watch so yeah you guys are awesome thank you very much for watching please like and subscribe for more and i'll see you in other series videos yeah peace